We begin today by acknowledging our family and ancestors. And for those of you viewing this from other parts of this beautiful nation or on the lands of other First Nations peoples, we would also like to acknowledge the custodians of the lands on which you are gathered today and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. Yangu Nalamanyan Danamanyan, Nanawawari Dawari, Marabiji Mulangari Jinila, Gulambani Yarabinin, Naragana Walinini, Nana Yarabi Yangu, Yumalandi, Nanawawari Dawari. And this means today we are gathering together on Nanawal country. This country is our ancestors' spiritual homeland. We are keeping the pathways of our ancestors alive by walking together as one. Welcome, Welcome to, to Nanawal country. 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 Yanyen Kagu Nanadara Yalamandi Hello and good evening from Nanawa country and welcome. First of all, I'd like to pay my respects to the Nanawa ancestors. It's their footprints that they're left behind on this beautiful country we call Canberra that we follow each and every day of our lives. I'd also like to pay my respects to the Nanawa elders, past, present, and like myself, that are the next generation of elders. I'd also like to acknowledge the other brothers and sisters that are out there on their Aboriginal country today and thank them for the contribution that they make to my life and my family's life and everybody's life each and every day. On behalf of my mother, I'd like to welcome you to country, Yalamandi Nanadara. Welcome from Nanawa country. When you try and list major Australian artists, who comes to mind? For a long time, they were mostly names like John, Tom, Brett and Fred. But imagine if in 2020, instead, falling off the tip of our tongues were names like Sally Gabori, Fiona Hall, Grace Cosington-Smith, Yvonne Comaltry and Lindy Lee. Well, here at the National Gallery of Australia, we think it's time to know their names. Good evening, and on behalf of the National Gallery of Australia Council, I'd like to welcome you to the virtual opening of the exhibition Know My Name, Australian Women Artists 1900 to Now. My name is Eloise Fuss, and I'm your host tonight. Firstly, thank you to the Ngunnawal elders, Jude Barlow and Carolyn Hughes, and Ngunnawal custodians, Richie and Kane Allen, for their thoughtful welcome to country and smoking ceremony. I'd like to acknowledge that while I am on Ngunnawal and Ngambri land, the nature of this expansive exhibition has seen the National Gallery work with people from many different parts of Australia. And so I also want to acknowledge all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, communities and nations throughout this country. There's no doubt that women continue to make a huge impact on cultural life in Australia. And there's also little doubt that they haven't always been acknowledged for their contribution. 
This expansive new exhibition celebrates Australian women artists, elevates the voice of all women, and tells a new story of Australian art. Let's find out what Know My Name is all about. Know My Name is a bold initiative. Know My Name is a call for action for people to open their eyes to the diversity of Australian women artists. Know My Name is a critical and timely response to the lack of representation of women in our institutions. Know My Name is a commitment to gender equity. Know My Name builds cultural legacy. It's about giving recognition to Australian women artists. I think Know My Name, it's asserting authority, it's asserting power, and it's about time that people did know our names. It's about checking an imbalance throughout history. It's about shining a light on the great women artists of Australia. Know My Name is, is a chance to have a new perspective on female artists over the last century. While well, art and artists are absolutely fundamental to this initiative, our aim is to change the cultural landscape of Australia. Know My Name is the most ambitious program the National Gallery of Australia has ever done. Australian women artists are rock stars by another name. It's time to see their colours, listen to their stories. Australian women artists are incredibly important to the history of Australia. Australian women artists are innovators. Australian women artists are my inspiration. Australian women artists are bold, creative, tenacious, intelligent, provocative. Australian women artists tell poignant and progressive stories of our history, of our present and allude to our future. Australian women artists are changing the landscape of Australian society through their art. Because without doubt, there is beauty in diversity. Art by Australian women artists is often complex. Art by Australian women artists asks us to think about the world from a different perspective. Art by Australian women artists is reflective of our society, conversations and current discourse, politics and ideas. Art by Australian women is fabulous, controversial, exciting, curious, uplifting, revolutionary, it's time to open your eyes, listen to their stories and know their names. We're rethinking history and elevating the profile and the contribution of Australian women artists. By showcasing the work of all women artists, we are telling a more inclusive future. Know My Name uh, matters, Black Lives Matter, stories of Aboriginal people and culture matter and stories about women and the environment matter. This is the start of an extraordinary era in collecting, in showing and presenting the work of Australian women artists to the wider public. We'd like to thank all the artists who have contributed to this initiative, which marks a moment of major transformation for the National Gallery of Australia. Know My Name's a collective achievement. It takes many hands and minds to assemble what is one of the country's most comprehensive presentations of art by women. So a special thank you to our dedicated group of partners and donors, with thanks to principal patron, Kim Fairfax, strategic partners, Visit Canberra, Seven Network and O Media, and the National Gallery of Australia Foundation. This initiative has been made possible through the support of hundreds of individual patrons at all giving levels who collectively gave over 2 million in support of the wider Know My Name initiative and helped make this exhibition possible. And now let's hear from the curators. Know My Name, Australian Women Artists, 1900 to Now, is one of the largest exhibitions of women's art ever to be shown in Australia. Co-curated with Elspeth Pitt, one of the aims of the exhibition is to show the strength and diversity of women's practice. It's not a historical linear trajectory, but rather aims to show um, different thematic groupings which take a circular movement through time. Know My Name, Australian Women Artists is one of the largest presentations of art by women assembled in this country to date. In part, it arose in response to the Me Too movement. We were very interested in the proliferation of women's ideas, stories, exhibitions, projects that generated in the wake of that movement. 
as a starting point, we looked to our own collection and considered closely the works by women held in the National Gallery collection. We also used the development of this exhibition as an opportunity to closely collaborate with our colleagues across Australia to assemble more than 350 works uh, made between the period 1900 to now. I think one of the other things that we were really keen to do in this exhibition is um, to look at breakthrough moments in artist practices. In one of the spaces we have um, works by Tracy Moffat, by Julie Rapp and Anne Ferrin. And these are large scale photographic works and really it epitomises something that came through in the 1980s and 1990s that was about um, the body in art, it was about stories of women, um, by women and I think these works are really something that hadn't been seen in Australian art before. The exhibition includes a number of new commissions. We collaborated with Gemma Smith, a Sydney-based contemporary painter who worked with us to select a colour palette for the walls. The walls are painted in a succession of very pale colours that appear and disappear like a scent at points throughout the exhibition. Another new commission involved us working with the contemporary choreographer and dancer Jo Lloyd, who made work in response to the prior practice of the pioneering performance artist Philippa Cullen. There's also a great passion in the exhibition in one of the rooms for the environment. And we have works by um, artists like Fiona Hall and Janet Lawrence that really look at the intimacy, the intricacy of the environment. So for example, in Fiona's work, she shreds US currency to weave together these beautiful, intricate nests. It's looking at the way that we exploit the environment, hence the use of currency. So this idea of tender being currency, but tender also being tenderness in nature. One of the great joys of developing this exhibition has been working with artists, collaborators and colleagues from across Australia. At its heart, Know My Name is a community building exercise and a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the art of women artists in this country. Thank you, Deborah and Elspeth. Now we'll take a closer look at the National Gallery's new commission by the Jumpy Desert Weavers. Curator of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island art, Kelly Cole, worked with the women of Warakuna in the Nunkanjara lands, Western Australia. This major installation tells the ancestral story of the Seven Sisters Dreaming. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kelly Cole. I'm a Warramunga Lurija woman from Central Australia and curator of special projects within the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island Art Department. I have curated this gallery within the Know My Name exhibition. On display are works that embody the Seven Sisters Songline, a complex pathway of Indigenous spiritual, ecological, economic and cultural knowledge traversing throughout Central Australia. The National Gallery recently commissioned this installation by Ananu women artists from the Jumpy Desert Weavers. And over the past 25 years, the women have developed and mastered their skills, weaving baskets and creating brilliant collaborative fibre art installations. The title of this work is Kunga Rangalpa, Seven Sisters. It is an important ancestral jukapa or story that has strong underlying teaching elements, including reinforcing Aboriginal law and continuance of cultural structures. It enacts the song lines and journey of the Seven Sisters who are traveling across country 
while being pursued by Wadi Nuri, a male ancestral being who wants to marry the elder sister, but they are culturally incompatible due to their different kinship family groups. In an attempt to escape, the seven sisters launch themselves into the sky, transforming into the stars that form the Pallades constellation. You also hear the sound of several of the jumpy women performing the Seven Sisters Inna, which is a traditional song and dance ceremony attached to the Seven Sisters songline. Adjacent to the jumpy desert weavers, Seven Sisters Commission are works from the National Collection, including beautiful, bright, vibrant paintings and a wonderful group of kulamans or pitties made in 1992 by Pitinjara artists from Pukaja or Unabella in South Australia. There is also a wonderful large-scale vibrant work on loan from the Art Gallery of South Australia. The paintings are a topographical view of the vast country of the Ananu. The works explore the roots and map the journey of the Seven Sisters songline across the country and form the geographical sites of the Seven Sisters as they left their mark as they travel across country. Thank you. I hope you get to see the Know My Name exhibition and the wonderful Seven Sisters songline display. Thank you, Kelly, and the Jumpy Desert Weavers, who I know are joining us online tonight from the NP Wireless. Hi. <laughs> it's such an incredible commission and a powerful vehicle for storytelling. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's virtual opening and that you can visit the exhibition and the gallery or online over the coming months. Know My Name marks a moment of major transformation for the National Gallery of Australia, and it is just the beginning. We'd like to issue you with a challenge this evening to continue to celebrate women artists, to see their art, to hear their stories and to know their names. Let's finish this evening with a newly commissioned work from Melbourne-based contemporary dance artist Jo Lloyd, supported by the Kia Foundation. Titled Archive the Archive, it's inspired by the life and work of the late Philippa Cullen, a highly original performance artist, dancer and choreographer who died at age 25 in the mid-70s before her name was widely known. In this work, Jo Lloyd translated what she knows of Philippa's life into dance. It's my pleasure to introduce the world premiere of Archive the Archive by Jo Lloyd. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful night.